Hello there. In this video, I want to address some problems you may have with Stable Diffusion and how to fix them. This is problems was compiled based on a uh, viewers feedback when they ask when they have specific problems I found out most of them the exactly same and in this video we're going to address them from easiest how to solve easy way and progressively how to do more and more this is application constantly updated the constantly fixing some uh, bugs and capabilities and in this case what we want to do first it is be sure your code is up to date to update your code Open command prompt, navigate to your installations and type command. In this case, we're going to use it git fetch, which will receive latest. And after you can type git pull. In many cases, git pull will just work fine without fetch. You should notice right here it says up to date, so we have it all latest code. But you also can make it a little bit easy instead walk uh, going to the prompt and a typing you can go and navigate inside your stable diffusion open user batch file to the edit and inside this add batch file you can add on the top git pull and be sure as we inside our file we want to be sure our xformers is launching and we have access to api so this is in a command line We'll come back a little bit later to the command line, showing some additional options so you can update it. This is a nice way to do every time when you start. It's actually check for latest code, but it's also have it some with the draw by doing this. It's meaning if you already have a stable version and it's worked just fine, git pull may get it latest update that will be incompatible with some of your extension and it's maybe break it. So it's up to you what you prefer. You can go ahead inside the command prompt and just update code when you feel like or something does not work or you can put it inside the user web ui user batch file and pull out every time when you start the application next as we're speaking about updates it's very important to keep it our extensions updated for this we'll go inside the extension tab and right here you can click check for updates we will going to the our repository check if it's any new available and after you can click apply and restart i noticed that sometimes some extension will work require almost restart the server itself so you close it your um, web ui user batch file window and restart that again so the next most common problem is a conflict in a library. And for example, I noticed like SDSN animations will conflict with some other animations applications because some um, cross conflict in libraries they're using. So my highly recommendation for you, if you don't use the extensions, disable them. Use it only extensions that you're currently using. Or if you start having problem, disable and see if it's related to specific extension. Anything you don't need that extension anymore, you can go ahead and navigate to your stable diffusion install folder, go inside extension folder here and just remove the directory with extensions. You don't use it anymore. In this case, you ensure the code is not even loading. The another most common errors will come because your PIP or Xformers is out to date. So let's go ahead and update them. For this, we can go inside the directory, the current located, and we'll just type in Python exe and pip install upgrade. Let's go ahead, press enter. And you can notice in my case, it says already satisfied, so we have it a latest version. If you don't have it, it will uninstall it and will reinstall it pip if needed with command. This may take a little bit time, so just give it, be patient till everything is completed. After this, most likely comment says your X former is need update if you're using. On this case, you want to go ahead, navigate to SD environment folder. From there, let's go to navigate to the script folder. And right here, you want to run pip install force reinstall X former. So it will be installing the X formers as well as update if it needed. If this does not help, you may have it missing some components. So for this, let's go back to our Stable Diffusion Web UI. And from there, you want to run pip install 
dash r requirements txt by the way all of these commands will be down below in description so you can easy copy and paste them as you're going when we launch this application it's actually will going and read our requirement file okay let's go ahead open and preview and you can see right here you can have it it was a little bit wrong file so me, let me open this requirement file that it's supposed to be open this one and you can see right here it will go over all this application and install it one thing i notice if you do sometimes git pull the file requirements may be not updated to verify that you have it latest files i would recommend for you to go to the github for stable diffusion again link will be down below scroll down to requirements files and you can actually click and open and view that file in this case we can put it side by side and just verify if they're same if they're not same and you already did git pull probably have it some files that did not allow to properly uh, put code inside some maybe merging conflict or something um, if you're very familiar with git you can fix by yourself but in, if it does not work again then we need going to a little bit more dramatic approach to this case another problem you can do before we're going to what i call mini nuking or resetting everything it's try to change your v environment folder and it's work in many cases as well this is due maybe some files was locked and not updated or just some libraries corrupted or some other property happened so you just easy go and navigate to your stable diffusion folder going down to environment and rename it like you can see right here i have it the environment dash old this is old old folder that i just rename it and after this you want to go and restart it shut down your server and restart it you notice it will take a little bit time because it's going to pull all of this code fr fresh from repository and it's could fix it many problems that you may have it this specific folder does get abused and corrupted quite a bit often so it's very good to refresh once in a while and if this does not work then we're going to our next step which is um, kind of refresh all code in this directory but before we do this keep in mind it will override all of your changes and if you modify your web ui user batch file it will override so all of those settings will be gone be sure you're going you save or you can copy whatever you have it inside or save your batch file in different name if you want to reuse some of these commands okay so what are we going to do here we're going to get first git fetch to get latest information again we're going to repository this repository what we just saw in here okay let's go back here so to this repository we're taking all latest information from here we want to type git reset space dash dash hard head this is will take and reset all changes everything maybe was done by you or maybe other applications to the latest code on the repository after this is done and i'm not going to do this because i already done this recently you want to do again git pull and uh, when you're done git pull this will go and pull out latest code and updating all files that was changed that you miss it or corrupt it at this point if you go step by step you should have it upgraded your pip has upgraded the x formers and as well have it latest code for the stable diffusion after you're done restart your stable diffusion and in some cases you want to go back even you already may be done to the extensions check for update and apply and restart if any of them overall this is very um, points that you need to look one be sure you are have it every up to date mostly stable diffusion and extensions second you want to be sure your main application like pip or the um, x former other ones applications up to date as well libraries and then you want to be sure your settings is set correctly and not conflicting like inside the extensions so disable those extensions that you do not use it hopefully this will help you to solve the problem and keep in mind if nothing work 
just nuke it and reinstall it sadly this is my like fifth installation already because i do experiment with the code i do like to change code um inside the python or other things and sometimes does get mess up or maybe i just don't want to reverse what i already changed it so in this case i do have it several installations and by the way you can run those installations at the same time only what will change it's a port it's using for the executing this application well let me know if this was a little bit helpful to you if it's give it good feedback also all of this information commands and everything will be down below in descriptions let me know if you find some other problems and solutions how you solve this i greatly appreciate all of the community because this knowledge is based on not just one person it was posted on reddit posted on github posted everywhere people and this is a living tool it's changing daily and of course all code is changed so no surprise something maybe not work right now but it will be fixed very soon thank you for watching this videos please subscribe give a thumbs up for the video if you like it have a great day